Hi Booktube, Lynette here and today's video is going to be my May Might Be Read. As you will have seen from my videos uh, for the first four months of the year, I am very much in the mood reading mood. Um, I'm a mood reader anyway, I've always struggled to follow uh, set TBRs. Um, I, I couldn't even follow a, a set list when I was at school and we only had one book that we had to read. Um, so I am very much a mood reader and I am just going with that this year. As always, I do have my book club picks uh, that I want to get to in this month. Uh, I, I enjoy that. It just means that I can pick them up as and when I feel like it in the month because I've got, I don't have plans for anything else. Um, so I can pick them up when I feel like it. And yeah, I'll just talk you through uh, those. And I do have one other book that I definitely have to read. Um, I have a couple of other things that I have that may or may not get read, might go back to the library. I don't know, we'll see. But I'll, I'll talk you through uh, all of those. And I am taking part in a readathon this month. I'll talk you through the readathon first of all. It's run by Lexi over at Books and Lexi. It's called Escape the Readathon and it's based around an escape room. Uh, four groups of people have arrived at this house. Uh, they are all there for different reasons and they are trapped inside it. And basically you just have to read books. You're locked in a room. Um, each group starts out in a different room in the house. We are all locked in a room. We have to read books um, to gain points for our team. And at a certain point, we are going to end up with enough points to be able to try and unlock the door to let us out. At the point that we have to unlock the door, we are given a prompt. There are no other prompts um, throughout the month other than the prompts we get when we need to unlock the door of the room that we're in. We will be given two prompts. One of those prompts will unlock the door uh, and we don't know which it is. Um, Lexi and two other people are acting as ghosts. They are haunting us. Uh, three of the four teams every week are going to have points deducted because of the books that the ghosts read. So, um, yeah, there's there's fours in the case, but it is very much open to absolutely everybody. It doesn't matter what genre you read. It is all geared around mood reading. Like I say, the only prompts come when we open the door. Uh, so, I and I, I can't resist uh, a readathon that just is geared towards you reading what you want, when you want, how you want. Um, and yeah, take it from there. Um, so I'm really looking forward to taking part in this uh, and we'll see how it goes. So yeah, um, I'm looking forward to that. My book club picks will um, count. So let's segue into the book club. Uh, the book clubs that I belong to are Cozy Book Co run by Jess McGlynn over at her channel is Jess McGlynn. I will try, I never do. I'll try and remember to link it down below, sorry Jess. Um, and the other one is Cliterature Club, which is run by Steph over at Steph Loves. Again, try and leave all the links down below for you. Um, and those are the only two books that I want to read start during the month. Um, and I'll just talk you through what we are going to be reading. The first uh, book is... Uh, in My Dreams, I Hold a Knife by Ashley Winstead. This is for Cozy Book Co. Uh, it sounds like it's a bit of a thriller. Um, and maybe one that's going to keep us awake at night. It is about um, a college reunion. Um, specifically, we're going to be following a girl called Je a woman called Jessica Miller. She is reuniting with five other friends that she had when she was at uh, college. And one of their friends, they used to have seven friends, one of those friends was murdered. Um, and when they reunite, um, old secrets are going to come to light. And I'm guessing we're going to find out who actually murdered their friend. I like these sorts of books. Uh, I don't read them anywhere near often enough. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to actually um, picking this one up, seeing if it whets my appetite because I do have uh, a crime novel series on 
my ongoing um, series list that I want to pick up more from this week. So you never know, it, oh, this year rather. So you never know, this might actually fire me up into reading some of them. And the second book club is uh, Clipsture Club. And for the month of May, we're going to be reading The Worst Best Man by Mia Souza. This is about Lena, who is a wedding planner. Um, and she has been jilted at the altar. And it's also Max, who is her ex fiance's brother. Uh, and it's about how they have to come together um, to help their own businesses. Um, and I think it's going to be a little bit of enemies to lovers romance. It's not quite pitched that way. It doesn't quite read that way in the synopsis. Um, but yes, they're going to have to work together. And in doing so, they start to have feelings for each other. Um, they don't want to have feelings for each other because... Um, Lena wants revenge on Max because she blames Max for her being jilted at the altar. And Max doesn't want to get involved with Lena because he doesn't want to be second best to his brother. Um, and yeah, uh, sounds like it's going to be fun, full of misunderstandings. Um, hopefully funny misunderstandings instead of third act breakup misunderstandings. And again, I'm looking forward to reading it. I've been having a lot of success with the uh, Clipsture Club picks this year. They have all um, fit quite nicely with my romance reading style so definitely looking forward to picking this one up. I have a couple of honourable mentions that I want to make for the month. Uh, the first one is Before They Are Hanged by Joe Abercrombie. This is book two in the first Law trilogy. I need, it's May the 1st, it's a bank holiday, I need to get through as much of this book today as I absolutely possibly can. So I'm going to be holed up in the flat doing nothing but reading all day long. Um, it's a nice day. I should really take myself to the park, uh, but then I will buy coffee that I can't afford. Um, yeah. Uh, and the, the park is too far away for me to make the coffee and take it from home. Uh, it will be cold by the time I get there and I'm not a fan of cold brew coffees. Uh, the things you learn about me in these videos. Anyway, this is a fantasy series that Becca over at Becca and the Books has started reading for her Catch Up Book Club. Um, it is no clearer to me now what's going on in this series than it was before. I think that there is a character who's trying to bring magic back to the world. There is very definitely a war going on, um, which is being fought on two separate fronts. I think part of that war is being influenced by the magic, um, the non-existent magic or the existent forgotten about magic. Who knows? Um, I'm kind of enjoying it. It's not grabbed me by the eyeballs and kept me reading. Um, however, I am about that far into it so far. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm about a third of the way in. I should be able to get a fair amount read. When I settle to it, it reads okay. It's just getting settled to it and I need to make myself do that, especially over the next few days. I have been utilising my library uh, quite a bit um, recently and uh, you'll find out in my wrap up that I decided to start a reread of a series that I picked up quite a few years ago. Um, and never carried on. I just wasn't in the mood for it at the time. But I'm going to hold up uh, volume four of Saga. This is a sci-fi graphic novel series uh, and volume four is where I need to carry on. I have volumes four to nine um, from the library. I, I was very greedy and went and took them all out in one go. Uh, volume 10 is on reserve. I don't know when I'm going to get that. Hopefully I'll get that during this month because uh, what I didn't say at the beginning of this video is as well as the um, readathon, uh, there is a round of final book support group right at the very end of May, um, the very final weekend in May. Uh, and if I can get volume 10 for then, I can read that for final book support group and knock um, a series off the list. Uh, but yes, I've got volumes four to nine that I need to read and take back. They're very quick reads. They take me about 
half an hour at most um it's very much out of my comfort zone it is about um the first couple of volumes are about uh two people from um alien races on different sides of a war that fall in love they have a child they are being hunted by both sides of the war um and it's about that i believe the volume four starts a new arc um a different follows different characters so i'll see um i'll see how i get on maybe you know i read the first three volumes in very quick succession in april but i'll go into that in my wrap up um so i'm looking forward to picking it up and and getting on with it basically another series i very much want to continue and um the next book is actually at the library waiting for me to pick it up because i'm being very good and trying to use my library where i can um is archangels enigma by um and i've completely forgotten her name and it's right in front of me what am I brain doesn't work nalini singh um it's by nalini singh it's her guild hunter series and i think this is going to be book eight in the series uh i have been binging this series a little bit over the last few months um again it initially starts out with a trilogy that is following two characters elena and Raphael. Um, Raphael is an archangel. Elena was a human who belonged to a guild who hunted uh, vampires when they stepped out of line and sometimes helped out with angels as well. And it was their romance story. In the later books, uh, we are following um, friends of theirs who are also finding their happy ever afters, but it's also continuing a storyline that started in those first three books as well so it just uh whips through like i say i've got um archangels enigma is at the library waiting for me to pick it up i am trialing a new audiobook service called scribd um the rest of the books i think are available on there and i'll see how i get on with those um i'm just having a bit of an issue with that uh service because of the way it does the listening speed um it's either too slow or too fast for me and i just can't get my ears around it at the moment um so i'll see how i get on with that other than that it will just be let's see what the mood takes me uh like i say there is a round of final book support group it's a weekend round um normally when there's a round of final book support group i dedicate the whole month towards reading it um and i'm not sure there was there there were a couple of series that i picked up in april like i say saga guild hunters there are a couple of other series that i picked up in april that i want to continue with there are other series that have been on my shelves long term um that i want to continue with yeah um i just need to see how i'm feeling in the moment um definitely first one that has to be finished is before they are hanged um and as always i'll let you know how i get on at the end of the month what are your reading plans for the month of may uh let me know do you make tbrs or not um i have seen that there are quite a lot of people who are just allowing the mood to take them um and i think it's working out quite well for a lot of people at the moment I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, I make videos on a semi-regular basis at the moment. You definitely get a TBR and a wrap up from me, whether you get any additional videos. Um, April was a bit of an awkward month. Uh, my laptop broke, um, my videos corrupted and i just didn't have the heart to refilm them because i would have had to refilm um so yeah hoping that may will improve but we'll see so yeah i will see you all in the next one whenever that may be bye